So I just finished watching uh, my one of my favorite channels, Our Half Acre Homestead, and her way of um, dehydrating peppers. So I have frozen some, I've pickled some, and now I'm going to dehydrate some for the nights that I want to make. Um, I make a really good soup or a chili or a stew, and they'll all be ready. They just got to get thrown in there, and, and away they go. So um, since the last time... I posted a video on my peppers to show you guys here real quick. Uh, I've gotten this many more. So, gotten quite a bit. So, all I'm doing now is preparing. I also just wanted to point out um, a trick that I learned from watching other people on YouTube as well. If you slice around the top here, just a little bit above the, uh, or a little bit below, sorry, the top, you get this little bit of extra pepper too. And then on the inside, that's what you're going to cut out. Sometimes you can just squeeze it. So let's see if it'll come out for me. And it's start. Oh, I split it. I was doing it better with two hands, but of course it doesn't work when the camera's on. So all I'm doing now is just, you know, cutting the top off. Um, and making sure the centers are all gutted out, okay. saving the tops. So we are at the stove and we have all the peppers in here. I didn't put the jalapenos in here because I'm going to do them separately, but I'm still going to dehydrate them in, at the same time. Um, but these are the sweeter peppers. So we are blanching them for four minutes and then we are going to dice and chop and whatever them okay. up. So I just finished blanching the peppers. Um, for four minutes, right after I blanched them, I put them in some ice water. That's what I've seen on the videos. So this is the first time that I've ever done um, peppers in a dehydrator. Uh, well, it's my first year to do any dehydrating at all. Um, I bought the dehydrator when I was visiting Mike's family in Michigan, along with my little beef jerky gun. And, uh, yeah, so... I'm hoping these turn out because I love peppers and I love adding peppers to pretty much everything that I cook. And for those of you that watched my spaghetti sauce video, the peppers in the sauce turned out awesome. Um, I know a couple of you said that you were going to try the sauce, so if you did, let me know how it turned out and how you liked it. But uh, yeah, so for now this is all we're doing. We are slicing up. I'm making also some diced peppers and just so you can see for the diced peppers we're going to use the fruit roll up trays or sir yes for the diced peppers for the sliced peppers I'm not putting anything underneath so when these guys when I start getting ready to dehydrate um, I'll bring you back and show you how many we got I ended up getting two full trays of the diced and then also a full tray of sliced. I did more of the diced because I'll put them more um, in soups and stews. Okay, so I just wanted to show you how the peppers turned out. They turned out pretty good. Really neat because in this jar there's like a total of like four or five peppers. So I'm going to do some more as the garden gives me some more. But yeah, so those are the um, sliced and peppers and then these ones are the chopped ones so they're perfect size if you want to throw it in a stew or I don't know why we're not focusing there there we go so if you want to throw them in a stew or whatever I've already used actually a couple of them just to try them out um, yeah and they turned out really well so yeah give it a shot very much worth it. it saves you especially like say you're making a chili or a stew it saves you from having to do some chopping during uh, the prep time too so it's already done for you